Hey guys and welcome to another video uh today's video um it's about investment but it's not the type of investment that you're probably accustomed to hearing uh, i do come from a finance background um, i love finance and i love the topic of investments because there's many opportunities especially when it comes to making money um, but in today's video especially if you're a younger guy uh, you shouldn't really focus too much on like financial investments and for the time being First and foremost, always, the best investment is always going to be in yourself uh, because without that, there's really no point into branching out to other areas because you want to first make yourself the best version of yourself and then you can take on that to external opportunities. But when it comes to investing in yourself, because it can sound very general or cliche, um, some examples can be one, getting into the gym, um, that is investing in yourself because having a better body is for one, going to give you a better physique, it's going to give you more energy, and it's going to give you more confidence about yourself to do whatever, you know, when it comes to dating, um, going out, being social, but you just overall feel better about yourself. So that is investing in yourself by constantly getting into the gym, eating well. Um, learning a skill, whether it's a trade that you can take to the marketplace and uh, demand or charge money for, or obviously if you go to a university, whether you're going to become a lawyer or a doctor, you're investing in yourself and you're investing your time to hopefully you can pick a career down the line, hopefully that will pay you a good amount of money to live you know, the type of life that you want to live. But again, you're investing in yourself and that's going to take a lot of time, focus and energy. Um, traveling is another thing, you know, people think traveling, oh, I'm just going to go get drunk, have fun. While you can do that, when you travel, you are investing yourself to a degree because you're visiting other cultures. So you're learning other cultures in reality, instead of reading it from a book or watching a movie or a TV show, you're having different experiences. Um, you're testing yourself, you're building resiliency, you're building your character. While at the moment, you wouldn't think that's actually benefiting you, later down the line, when you meet challenges, um, because you already experienced those you know, small bits of challenges before, you can more be prepared to take on further challenges that may come down the road. Uh, another one, learning a language, et cetera, et cetera. So the point being is that uh, whether you're still in school, you're out of school, you're in your 20s, even in your 30s, while in the future you're looking at downturn, it is good to invest in um, assets that will make you money. First and foremost, your priority, especially in your 20s, and I would probably argue your, at least your early to mid-30s, first and foremost, invest in yourself, learn, uh, try out different things, experiment. Um, you never know what you might like and what you don't like, but you need to put yourself out there. You need to learn a lot of things, and this stuff takes time. So we talk a lot about this um, in my upcoming course and in regards to self-development. And a lot of it is just looking you, yourself, in the mirror and making sure that before you go out, you're becoming the best version of yourself. Because if you're not the best version of yourself, then that could potentially hinder you and other potential opportunities. But you first and foremost really want to invest in yourself. You're going to feel well, you're going to have more confidence, then you can go out and take on any challenges out there in the world. So sign up down below, link in the description. Again, thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.